Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Uh, or wherever you're at in the world, whatever time of day it is. I happen to be in San Diego. My name is Kent. This is EOS San Diego. But whatever time it is, wherever you're at, I hope you're having a really good day. Uh, today was a really good day for a number of reasons. Uh, the first reason, my wife had her birthday. The second reason is EOS had its birthday. And third reason is the Security and Exchange Commission decided to classify Ether as a non-security. So a really, really, really good day all the way around. But I wanna talk first about the launch of the chain in the way that everything is now available. All tools are available. Uh, 21 block producers are elected, we're elected. Congratulations to those 21. But if you go to Crypto Alliance and you look at the main net, you'll still see people are voting for block producer because the vote continues. The vote is ongoing meaning that the block producers are always being voted for. I believe every few, every few minutes a block the vote is taking place, and when you vote, you have to stake your uh, tokens for three days. But this is an ongoing process to elect a block producer. So this is truly decentralized where block producers are always being elected by the community. A true feature about this that keeps the community in control of everything that happens on this chain. So a very ingenious way to keep this decentralized and let community stay in control. The next thing I wanna talk about a little bit is I just wanna talk briefly about how the SEC has decided to say that Ethereum or Ether is not a security. The reason they say it's not a security and they've actually reversed their decision. Earlier they said Bitcoin was not a security but Ether, Ether was, it was a security or ICOs could be considered a securities. They've changed their mind on that because of ICOs being decentralized and also there's not managerial expectation. So for those two reasons, they said it's not a security, which is a very good thing for EOS. Because if they say ICOs are not a security, then I'm sure airdrops will not be securities as well. So my next point, the next thing I'd like to talk about in this video is I'd like to talk about how airdrops literally are going to be early retirement for a lot of people. This is a community where airdrops are going to help dApps get created. So community is going to help dApps get created. And once dApps get created, there are going to be more and more people join this community on the use of that dApp, which is going to be like a feedback loop in this community. As airdrops happen, dApps get created, and it just continues to create, create, create more activity, more network effect, which, which makes the network, makes the community, makes the platform more valuable. So as this continues to proceed and proceed and proceed, it gets to be more valuable, meaning more and more people will retire early by owning this token. If you don't think I'm correct about this, I'm gonna tell you my next door neighbor makes a pilgrimage every year back to Omaha, Nebraska to go to Warren Buffett's annual stockholders meeting. He literally retired early by investing in Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway. Warren Buffett did about 25% a year. EOS has done, done over 1,000%, in fact, 13, 1,400%. And it's a little bit down right now, but from the time that initially launched, and it was up quite a bit higher than that when it was at 20%. So when you have airdrops and literally the compounding effect of an airdrop, the compounding effect of everybody's ideas being built on this platform with dApps, you literally have a better formula for retirement than investing in something like Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. And I'm living in a very expensive community and my next door neighbor is living very well solely on retirement from being invested in Berkshire Hathaway. I believe EOS is gonna be a much better vehicle for retirement than Berkshire Hathaway. So I literally get up every morning and see somebody in retirement based on an investment they made a number of years ago in a company that was doing about 25% a year. EOS, I think, did 5 or 6% today. And actually, if, I would have, if you would have invested yesterday when I said it was down, you'd have made about 5 or 6% today. This is literally going to cause or let people retire early by the fact that this community is be, going to become more and more valuable every day it operates. Right now, the, the launch, the chain is launched. The next, the next thing will happen is dApps will be produced or will be built 
airdrops will be made. Right now we have more block producers than we have airdrops. That'll change very quickly. Airdrops will start to happen. As airdrop starts to happen, it'll raise money for dApps. As dApps continue to be built, there'll be more and more network effect with this. With this, It'll continue to grow and grow and grow. Community will grow, dApps will grow, airdrops will continue, and people that own this token will literally retire early from it. That's the way this will go in the future, based on the current way it's, 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 been, it's, been, it's been going so far. This is literally an investment because retired people early. Just as Berkshire Hathaway was an investment that retired a lot of people early too. And believe me, um, I'm not a big Warren Buffett fan because he's not a crypto fan. And if you're not a crypto fan, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, probably the kind of person you want to hang out with because I'm, I'm really into cryptocurrencies. But when I, when I speak to my neighbor, I never speak uh, negatively about Warren Buffett because he idolizes Warren Buffett because of early retirement. And I would too. I mean, if I was uh, completely living off my Berkshire Hathaway stock, I'd probably think Warren was the greatest guy in the world too. So this does happen. This does happen. People do retire early by making investments. And EOS is a great opportunity to do that. So believe me, it does happen. So this is really something I believe that a lot of people retire early on. And I think this is something that's going to be spectacular for a lot of people. Especially given the fact today that Security and Exchange Commission decides not to regulate ICOs and, and most probably airdrops too. So anyway, a really great day. It's been a great day all the way around. And uh, I'm looking forward to better days ahead. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to be built on this, on this, on this uh, platform. A lot of great things happening. I'm going to start talking about dApps being developed. I'm going to start talking about airdrops. We're going to start moving in that direction because now we got all the stuff behind us. Uh, no more ERC-20 token. Uh, no more, um, you know, moving the, you know, to the, to the, to the main net and all that other stuff. It's all been launched. It's all in the past. Now we can talk about actual production on this on this blockchain and actually what's going to happen in the future, which will be something good for everybody. Anyway, video is going on about seven minutes, so it's probably time for me to check out, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.